evening, Doctor. Well, hello, Doctor. How are you this evening? Fantastic. I am Dr. Flugelhart. And I'm Dr. Logostein. And welcome to Intro to Elementary Botany. <laughs> April no, Fools! <laughs> April Fools! Hey, everybody! Welcome back to. That's right. It's Adobe Office Hours. You know. Hey. You know what it is. Oh, you know no, what it happening? is. <laughs> it's April Fools' Day for all of you that are watching here on the live stream. If you are watching uh, the replay after the fact, happy April first! Happy Spring, yes. everyone! Welcome to Office Hours. We like to be goofy here. Uh, Nick, what yeah. are we doing this week? Well, first of all, first of all. Nick, I think we need to do something special that I always forget about. Vibe check. All right, so music's on. We're vibing. Yay. Nick, now that I've got you some smooth jams Wish I going. Hear it. Uh, smooth I, jams. It's sad that you don't hear it. Um, I know. Now that I've got you some smooth jams, own. can you give us like a like a smooth radio intro to what we're doing today and kind of what the vibe of Office Hours is? Sure thing. Welcome back to Office Hours. Today's episode, we're going to take your logo and turn it into a brand. How's that? That was great. That was great. So grab a loved one. <laughs> yes. So go ahead and hop into Discord uh, right down below. <laughs> Discord.gg slash ACC. There's a voice channel you can hang out and talk with all your friends. Uh, man, this episode's already off the rails and we just started, Nick. We've just started. I think that should be our, our plan is to try to do one episode as a slow jams radio dj oh yeah like an asmr yeah yeah i love that uh all right welcome to office hours hi let's get started we are going to be talking about branding today um and it's going to be a great show i do actually want to i know we just said the joke but i do want you to join our discord down below and nick what's happening over in the discord uh a lot and uh, Frank has been taken over like crazy over there. Um, should we show some of that? Look yes, well, let's show some of the work that's been happening. Um, on our last episode, we talked about logos. We talked about building out a logo into a system. Um, if you haven't watched that episode, you can check out the playlist that this is in. Uh, just go check out the last episode. But some amazing work here by Frank. Um, look at look at this. It's incredible. You are ready to post, my friend. This looks fantastic. A little explanations. Look at Love this. Love that. Look oh, at this. Beautiful stuff. Social media avatars, favicons scaling down. We've got color variations. We've got some mock-ups here, right? Putting it on a little uh, bank right there. The old MasterCard mock. I love it. Ooh, the sign. the sign. This looks like a bank. It looks like a real blank. Amazing Real stuff. bank, excuse me. Amazing stuff. That looks yes. great, man. Um, so uh, all from a online fun little course, right? Unreal. Called Office Hours, and some awesome work here Ooh. by uh, Katarina. Katarina, Looking nice, fantastic. Look at that. Oh, I love that. There's Good something part. really fun about that idea of just seeing a the figure in the middle could be so subjective. Like it's really great. I love that. Yep, fun stuff. Fantastic work, but. Um, we do have that. We also have a voice chat. So on this show, I know you may have watched some Adobe Live before, but on this show, we got a voice chat. If you ever tune in live, we're live every Friday at 2.30 p.m. Pacific time. And we have a voice chat that you can hop into. You can ask questions. You can chat with us. You can make some new friends. So you can click right over there, uh, discord.gg slash ACC. And then you can join the classroom chat. We have Elizabeth and Steven hanging out in there as well. So pop on in and say hello. Um, all right, Nick, do, are we just going to hop right in? Cause we have a lot to cover today. Um, I think we are, we've got a, we've got a brand to, oh, we've got a logo to turn into a brand. Let's yes, go. <laughs> let's do it. So, um, you're going to be seeing on my screen real quick. I just want to show you where I'm going to be. And it's going to be a weird look at illustrator that you're probably not used to seeing. And it's this, I've just expanded my libraries panel very large so that we can see because Nick and I will be collaborating today. So as we go back and forth, if it looks different like this, I'm just want to show you the libraries. Um, and Nick is going to be doing the most of the work uh, at the beginning of the stream here. Uh, and Nick, let's talk about where we are with this logo and then kind of where we're trying to go today. Yeah, so you guys are all familiar with this. This is making its third appearance, I believe. We started back in creating uh, the Creative Brief episode where we've done Beacon Theater and Titan Banking. So what I did here was from last week, we had a series of 
different configurations, different orientations, the colors, sometimes with the tagline, sometimes without. And all I've done here is kind of start putting this together. And you can see I have these all in unique different um, artboards. And I know we, I think we went over this last time, I believe, but the coolest thing here, this was a great feature that I believe uh, Andrew showed last week, was when you do have something here and it's ready to go and you've put all of your arrangements of logos together as well, and you click on the artboard here, you double click on this and basically what it will do Boom. is it will make the artboard specifically right there to the dimensions of what you've grouped. It does have to be grouped, correct? That is the one. Yes, it does have uh, to be grouped. So it will basically make the artboard around whatever is grouped. So you can group as many or as little things and it will make the artboard around that. And it's probably worth showing it. Like, look at how, yeah, it's like dead Pixel on, perfect. which yep. is great. So I love the way that looks. Um, do you have, do you do um, outline type at this point or do you leave the type? Um, I would live? do outline type at this point. So once you have yeah. all your type locked in for a logo, you want to outline everything so that if I, as the client don't have something, then the font doesn't substitute. So today great. I will be playing the client and Nick will be playing the designer. So I will be Titan Bank. Go. And so I don't want to get a file where I don't have the font that he's used and it replaces it with like Arial and then I print it on a sign. So it's a good Perfect. idea to outline everything. There we go. So everything is outlined and ready to go. You can see. And then we've also got the two color swatches and we're going to show you how you could do that. And should we just start uploading and updating our library here? Yeah. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are actually going to update this library and then we'll come back and build it out into a brand. So Nick, when we're talking about a brand, we have a couple episodes about branding, but what are we talking about when this episode is logo to brand? Where are we taking this? What, 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 is, what does it mean to take this logo into a brand? Yeah, I think it's the next, obviously, logical step as to what happens. We've agreed, signed off, got a great logo. Maybe the whole package has even been looked at and seen by the client or yourself if this is something you're doing for yourself. But now what you want to do is you want to create the standards. You want to create yes. the asset library, whatever you want to call it. What I love about this is, is think about a company as big as Starbucks, right? Or any global company that is on like every continent. When the new logo goes out, there's a brand standards that they want to be consistent throughout everything. If it's gonna be pulled and maybe at any given time, you got probably 300 designers across the world using it for the napkin or the apron or the sign outside the building, they wanna make sure it's coming from the exact same file, the exact same specs. What else, right? It's like yep. everything has to be right on so there's brand consistency throughout. So yep. we're gonna help make that together. And libraries are that perfect way particularly if you are doing collaborations with someone, we have shared this library together. So anything I do, Andrew's gonna have on his computer and we know it's 100% exactly the same. It's gonna be magic. And so if you're wanting to do that, you can just click on, uh, you can create a library. So we're gonna open our libraries panel and you can click create yep. new library. And Nick and I have created one that's just live sessions. And there you can you click on this little collaborate button and then add whoever you want that is using Creative Cloud to this library so we can share it. So. Some yes. of the things that Nick's going to be doing on his screen are going to go over to my screen almost immediately. So Nick, let's get started. Yeah. And I think building a brand, right? We always think about brand standards. Like, oh, we need to define color numbers and type and all yeah. that stuff. We're actually going to do that last. Um, we are going to get all these assets into a library so that I can start working on stuff while Nick is working on other things to expedite our process. So Nick, yes. let's go ahead and get started. Where are we starting with getting assets in? All right. So there's two ways you can do it. We're going to just be populating these right into the live sessions library. If you've got one or two, I think, you know, the easiest thing to do is you just drag it over here and you'll see the plus sign show up and you can let go and boom. So there it is. It's in there right now. And I'm just going to pop over to my screen. Watch what happens. Let's just count together. Like one, two, three, four, five. It was less than five seconds. It's already in my library here. So Faster Nick, than the speed of light. Um, that. I actually need to, I'm going to go ahead and rename this and we're just going to name this full color logo. Perfect. And I believe that when I do that, it is going to sync back to you as well. So when we go back to Nick's screen, look at now it says full color logo instead of uh, logo one right there. So everything that we do is collaborative. So Nick, if you want to keep going, go ahead and keep dropping different assets in there. Um, and we can kind of see how things uh, are working with the libraries. Great. Uh, and what's nice is as Nick does this, as he's putting stuff in, I can kind of start categorizing things if I wanted to and organizing. Um, there and there are functions for it to auto-organize, but I like to make folders. So as Nick does that on his screen, 
I'm gonna start making some folders over here on my screen by just clicking, oh, you guys can't see it, down behind me. Hold on, let me pull my libraries panel. Right there, this little folder. I can click and make a folder and we're gonna do logos. And you can see as Nick is dropping things in here, they're just live populating uh, onto my library. There is the second way you can do it is by right clicking everything and you get the pop up here and you go right to add to library. I find oh, that a yes. little bit easier sometimes. It is, it is much easier. I think you, you tried yesterday, um, you were trying to take all of them at once and it didn't work, correct? Yes. Gotcha, so one by one, we bring them over and you can see we got everything. Now, but here, when I got this selected and we hit here, we add that as a fill color, correct? Uh, yes. Yep. So if you okay. want to add a color, you need to select that color and then do a uh, uh, new are. fill color. Perfect. And since those are our only two colors here, um, maybe I'll come up with one or two um, like secondary colors uh, while we, are we going to sw swap over to yours? Yep, totally. Yeah. So we'll All pop right, over to mine and I'm just kind of organizing these a little bit so that we can see. Um, I want to add maybe a badges section here. So let's add a badge in there. Uh, this is a, one of the logos. So we can organize. Uh, we have colors down here that we can use. Uh, but this is going to be kind of what we are working off of. And let's let's just kind of show the power of how much we can collaborate here, right? So let's say that I have this mark here, right? So this is going to be named, I'm just going to name it white logo or white mark. Got so it. we're going to drag this over and I'm going to place it into my document and I'm going to start designing around it, right? And I think, oh, you know what? I think that I actually want this to be on red. And so I'm gonna put a red background here and I'm like, oh man, I can't because there's a blue backdrop. So Nick, can you go ahead and uh, fix this file for me? Or I can send Nick an email or if we're on a Zoom call like this, yes. say, hey, can you fix a uh, white mark and just remove that blue background that's on there? Uh, so we just want white and nothing else. Nothing, correct? yeah, just delete that, that blue background. So what Nick can do is he just double clicks on the library where it has white mark. Or actually, I was just gonna make a brand new one. Which, oh, what's just, a better... so let's let's just update it live so we can show that. So yeah. double click on the white mark in libraries. Okay, let's see. So let's go with the one with the blue background, correct? Yep, it should say white mark, yeah. There it is. All right, uh, so, so just double, double click, click on that and it's gonna open that into a file. So this is the linked file. Now when Nick deletes that background, that blue, he's gonna save. And then Still close there. that, uh, and then close that window, and watch what happens. So over on my screen, it is syncing through the cr cloud, and it updates live on my. I didn't. My hands, my hands were up here. My hands were up can we just, here. Can we just clap for that? I mean, come on. Nothing. So People if we had, dream of that five yes, years ago. <laughs> if we if we were designing something that there was a huge change that needed to happen, maybe we're changing the name of our bank. It doesn't matter if we are using these Creative Cloud libraries in collaboration, it will update live across the board as long as they're linked, right? I didn't do a single thing other than drag it onto my design and Nick was able to update that and standardize across the board anywhere that it's been used. So great stuff. Magical. That's great. Absolutely magical. And that's magical. the simplest way to do it. If it's already there and you know which one it is, just double click on it. It will open it as the AI file it got it from. Yep. Rather than going back to my artboards and maybe trying to sync there, that was amazing how fast that worked. It's it's great. it's so cool. It is like the coolest thing. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we are going to hop on over into Creative Cloud Express. One of my favorites, uh, Creative Cloud Express is just great. It's express.adobe.com. Uh, we'll go full screen here, why not? And we're gonna start using this library that Nick is building as a, a kind of a leverage into building out our brand and starting to use those pieces. So Nick, um, let's go ahead and click right here on brands. And this is gonna okay. be how we start to build it out. Um, we're gonna hit create brand. Mm -hmm. And we already have a lot of assets here. So we can add in our logos. Uh, we do need to get a JPEG or a PNG, but thankfully Nick has given me a Creative Cloud library that I can work with. So I'm gonna hop back into Illustrator and let's just go ahead and make a square. I'm just gonna do like a 1080 by 1080. Cool. We'll make this into an artboard right here. We're going to artboards convert to artboard. And then I'm gonna to wanna to drag in our logo. So let's do, uh, let's do our full color logo. Okay. And I'm just clicking and dragging and we're gonna scale that up so that it fits in this space. 
Nice. There we go, looks good to me. So I'm gonna export this as a PNG with a transparent background. Export, export as, um, and we will leave it sure right there. And we're gonna do Titan Bank. So this is something, Nick, as the designer, um, I would want you to supply me as the client to say, hey, can I get uh, like a PNG logo, right? When you export, can I have a yeah. PNG logo so I can use it in my design? So I'm gonna export this, there we go. And come back to Creative Cloud Express, and I'm going to upload that logo. Perfect. Uh, who knows where that's? Look at us. Uh, <laughs> all right, where did I put that? Is the question. All right, I'm going to drag this off the screen real quick. Um, so while we do this, uh, Nick's going to be kind of working behind the scenes on the other side of branding, and that is uh, creating like a brand one sheet. So yeah, it's just an easy way to reference things um, for clients to be able to see how to use their brand, right? We're defining exactly. certain things for our client. So yeah, what I'm gonna start doing is going back to this, we probably have this as our master set of everything to go. And what I'd like to do is I'm gonna give them, it's typically in my, my proposal that they're gonna get a two to three page kind of style guide sheet of everything that we have. So what I tend to do is like give them the hero logo up here on top that's kind of showing them that this is maybe priority number one. And then I'll go back to my slide here and we'll start thinking about all of the different other orientations. Maybe it might be the sideways one here as well. We'll bring this back. Now this is a communications tool. This is more of a sheet that not only they can uh, use and refer to, but they will probably print out and maybe give to someone that they are sending the logo to. Let's say they're doing some swag or they're gonna create a t-shirt or a hat or something like that. This is a great thing to give them because now it eliminates them having to call you back every time they are sending out the logo for a new job yep. or any kind of new swag. So yep. I'm gonna just start having fun with this. Yeah, so Nick will be working on that in the background. We'll kind of come back and forth. Um, but I've gone ahead and I grabbed the, the color um, right here out of our Creative Cloud library. And I just grabbed that hex code, which is these numbers that you see here. And I'm going to integrate that into building my brand. So I'm gonna pick color and I'm just going to paste that in there. So we'll hit save. And you can see that it actually is pulling the colors from the logo. So if your brand colors are involved in the logo, it will find them and give them to you as suggestions. So we'll just leave that right there right. and we'll hit save. And then we'll choose a font. So Nick, we haven't really chosen a font for this brand yet, uh, yeah. but we want something that maybe is a little more uh, strong and engaging and kind of uh, futuristic. And so I might just want to go with Futura. Do we want to just perfect. stay there? That better be, if you want future, use Futura. That's wow. <laughs> Love that. So we can pick our logo, our color and our font, and we're going to hit next. And from here we can name, uh, we're gonna name this Titan Bank. And this is just giving us kind of pieces to work with when we get into Creative Cloud Express um, and kind of the ability to implement our brand in a great way. So, something weird here happened there. Uh-oh. I don't know what happened there. We had a little, we'll do railway heavy uh, for this one. Oh, let's that's do, fine. Let's do a railway. Do you have Termina? <clears throat> I don't believe that I have it. So, hold on. That's a good, I think what you've got is fine. You're gonna go with... Uh, so you are able railway. to upload your own fonts. So if you have fonts that you wanna upload, you are able to add your own fonts here. Um, we're just gonna go with Railway for now, Railway Heavy. Um, actually, let's do Proxima Great. Nova right there. Proxima Ooh. Nova Black, there's no better. Can, All right. Can someone name their band that, please? Proxima Nova. <laughs> That's like the best name ever. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna Love name it. this Titan Banking and hit create my brand. So it's hanging tight, Beautiful. it is creating my brand, it is making that for me. And you can see here that, look at this, we have created kind of what Nick is working on right now. Um, yes. And I'm going to go ahead and add in more logos um, and I can just continually upload these. So uh, if Nick was exporting different versions of logos, we could use those. We do have the library, so I'm gonna leverage that a little bit. Um, but when you deliver a brand to a client, you wanna export all the different variations that we have um, that are currently in our library. So if they're in the library, we'll use them in a different way so it doesn't really matter right now. Um, I'm gonna click on more colors and I'm just gonna flip back and forth here between Illustrator grabbing these hex codes of the colors that we have, just copy and pasting, Control C and Control V. 
very quick and easy, and we can add in all of those colors of our brand so that we can use them as we start to build out in Creative Cloud Express. Excellent, looking good. Let's cross product work workflows. Por que no los dos? Do you remember? Do you remember those commercials with the little girl uh, that they're like, "Oh, do we want like square the, taco, or do we want tacos or burritos or something?" And she goes, "Por que no los dos?" And then they like what? lift her up. It's such Why a specific reference. <laughs> Why not both? Uh, so we can also add in other fonts. I'm just going to use Proxy Manova for now. Um, yes. But we can change. So this is for videos. What do we want? Light, medium, dark. These all look good. It looks like it's picked great options um, for me. And then showing how your logo is displayed. Those all look great as well. So this brand has been created. And let's see what happens when we start to apply it to a template, right? So nice. I am Titan Banking. Hello, Titan Banking. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and create something in Creative Cloud Express, right? Um, there's something coming up and I wanna make a flyer. We're having an event. So I'm gonna click on flyer right here and there's gonna be a bunch of templates. So I'm gonna find a template that looks like it is good for me. Um, yes. And Can you search? Oh um, yes. Just, or are they themed? Yeah, so I'm go. gonna Yeah, I'm gonna search bank. Um, and okay. that wasn't a good one. Let's search maybe money. What, what events would, a uh, maybe modern. Oh yeah. Let's do, let's do modern and see what event would a bank be putting on is the question. Uh, sh sure. Uh, let's do a fundraiser. Let's do that. There you go. Oh, there we go. All right. Perfect. Fundraiser. So it's more based on like event style. Yes. Okay. So, okay. So we have fundraising right here. Cool. This looks, uh, Let's see, cool. trying to find that one that's matching their vibe a little bit. Yeah, one that like um, feels close. And you could change colors of all these, right? So that's... we are going to brand it, yes, which will be super yeah. easy. So let's do the school supply drive right here. Perfect. So we have this graphic and I want to brand it. What I can come in, I can click on um, over here. I can click on my logos and it will actually have all of the logos for my brand. Hold, please. Do I have this in the wrong brand? Do I have, am I working in the wrong brand? That's the question. Hold on. <laughs> Y'all, I, I, I'm I, a noob right now. That's what's happening. Uh, let me make sure that I'm working in the, the right brand. All right, let's reopen our recent. The Joyce, there we go. I'm working in the Adobe Broad brand. So I'm just gonna click over here on design and then switch brand. And we're yes. gonna switch it to our Titan banking. So we've switched and now we have our colors. I'm gonna click on uh, apply brand and it should apply the brand for us. Nice. So there we go, our colors are going in there and it's on brand with our colors. It is uh, also going to go ahead and change over all the fonts. So now that font is in Proxima Manova, and you can see our logo is already sitting down at the bottom here. So with one so cool. click, we just brandified this image. So if I wanted to work with a different template, right? That maybe this one isn't doing it for me. Let's do this plants and relaxation, right? I want to create from this template and there are endless templates here in Creative Cloud Express. I just click on design and I click on apply brand and boom, look at that. All the fonts are right. And I still had the wrong brand. We're going to switch brand <laughs> and go to Titan banking. My goodness, Andrew. And there we go. Titan banking, all of the fonts, all the colors. All right. We can click to shuffle and it will shuffle through different variations of those oh, what core quick, brand colors. What, because like you can notice here when you get the dark background color, the logo doesn't work. So a quick shuffle shows you, oh, this, this way works. Yep. That absolutely. Works. So Perfect. if we have it like this, actually, let's do it where the, let's get the blue in the background and there are ways to do this manually. I'm just shuffling. So here we go. So we have this, right? And we have our logo here and let's make it a little bit bigger. Uh, but the problem is I don't have, uh, I want this logo to be white, right? Yeah. So there are a couple different things I can do. I can come to my libraries and I can go to my, uh, uh, what's it called? Live, live streams? What do we, what uh, <laughs> live sessions, live sessions. There we, there go. we go. Uh, so I'm going to scroll down here and find my live sessions library. <laughs> of course, it's going to be the very last one to find. <laughs> I know. Right. <laughs> shared with see. you. Let's see live sessions. There we go. So share with uh, me live sessions. We so we're going to click here and you can see that we have all of the assets. I can click view all and we have all of our logos here. So I could just click and it would place this into Creative Cloud Express for me and I could kind of move it around. Um, but 
I'm gonna delete that. Uh, what we can do is we can actually grab this logo and change the colors, right? This is a little hack. This is a little insider what? information. We can go over here to uh, click on this image and then we can, oh, you know what? It's a logo. So let's do this. Let's place an image here. So let's place okay. this image. And if we click here, we can add a filter to it. So a filter, Ooh. we're gonna add a duo tone. And what we can do is with the duo tone, we can just change both of these to white and then the shadows and highlights will go white, which means that the logo will just go white. What a shortcut. Look at that. Right? It's a little, it's a, That's it's a nice great. little hack. It's a little hack. Yeah. A little hack for you. So we'll put Titan over in the corner here. But you can see it was super easy for me to toss that in there, create branded graphics. Um, and we can also come back to the libraries if we want to put our little badge in the background. The same thing. Nice. We click and it adds this badge. And then maybe I want to change this to multiply so it goes into the background. And I want it to be a little bit more reserved. So I am going to do a duo tone and just make it gray. Great. There you go. And then maybe we want the opacity to come down. You can change the opacity right here. And then maybe I want this to kind of be a large watermark in the back. And so you can yeah, yeah. see it's over everything right now, but there are actually layers. So I can just click and oh, drag. Oh, that is the coolest interface I've ever seen. Oh, the layers interface is yeah. so gorgeous. So now it's behind yeah. all these letters and we can just click and drag things up and down, uh, which is awesome. That is great. Uh, I'm already thinking ahead to every brand and client. We're gonna just build them a library and start getting them on this rather than the you know what. <laughs> yep, yep. And so uh, what's what's great too is uh, let's keep, let's hop back over to you um, and let's maybe standardize some things a little bit more and look at Perfect. what it looks like to have kind of a brand standard sheet. Uh, but yeah. we'll come back to Creative Cloud Express to make some maybe social media graphics um, and show how you can kind of leverage the two together. Perfect. So I've, I've just kind of progressed a little bit here and started something here. I already know this is probably going to be a two pager. So I'm just going to line that one over and get ready here. But what I like to present it in a way that is going to make the most sense to the client or whoever else is going to be seeing this. So again, like we mentioned, I'm going to give the hero logo quite a bit of attention on the top. Um, kind of like what uh, Frank did on his, we're going to show like the essence of what the logo means. Maybe this is a great spot for you to show it is symbolic of both a shield and the column, everything we kind of got into a few weeks ago. And now I'm also giving them these little kind of hero logo one, hero logo two, or what I'm doing here is just so this way, when they do go to your library and let's say they are firing up creative, uh, cloud express and they're on there having fun, this can tell them exactly what to look for. It's kind of like the legend, right? You want to make sure you're titling them the same as you are using them in the library. Then here, I've got my social media ones as well. So I'm just going to put that in here. Social media icons. Perfect. So now there's no question where to use them. I can kind of gang them up into those little sections that you think are appropriate, right? So I'm going to have those here. And maybe this is a great spot to do color. Um, I'm a big fan of doing like the color in the actual like emblem, right? Or some kind of a graphic from the uh, from the brand. So I'm just gonna take this one here. We're gonna drop it here. And of course it is white, so you're not seeing it. And we'll get these as our colors. Perfect. Magic. And go. something that is a hot ticket item for Nick and I, is yes. whenever you are working on a brand and you are designating their colors, you always want to name your colors. Oh, so all right, guys. So we are we're talking about we're talking about trust, financials, right? All that. We need some colors yep. from so chat. Here are the three right color here. or the four colors, sorry, that we're using in this yes. scheme. What do we want to name these colors, chat? It is all up to you to name these colors. We have a nice like yellowy kind of brown, uh, maybe green, like a chartreuse. We have this like deep kind of uh, like dry crushed velvet. And then we have this blue <laughs> that nice. is like- Nice commentary. <laughs> right? Like this is like wet old navy. And then this one is like desert camo. So 
let's but we play, need him to be. We need like, them to be bank themes or to be yes. uh, something that goes Ooh, with the brand. I got values. a good one for this one. Currency. Ooh, currency. Do you like that? I like that. Okay, so we're gonna do that here. What is what does chat got? Uh, all right, so we have some coming in. Uh, our moderator Wade is saying uh, coin, charity, truth, and currency. Currency's great. Um, cool. How do I name Ooh, colors? This one uh, be coin. Astroful, just drop them in chat. Let, let us know I, if you want yellow, green, whatever. Um, I like there. coin here. I like coin as well. That's great. What else do we got for? Uh, we got a few more here. We could do. We got the purple. What, what purple? I think would be like um, uh, what do they call it? Fin not financial security. What is that? I, There's some I, something about like. I safe. like, I like it. Maybe purple being like vault. Ooh. Like I don't know why, but it seems like purple. It has like a vaultness to it. Okay. <laughs> you know the the classic <laughs> adjective vaultness. It's, I love it's it. Vaultness. So we, all right. So blue will be um, prosperity. Ah, uh, it's no, too long. Too Nobody long. wants to say prosperity. Yeah. Uh, Currency, vault, coin, and what do we got? Anything from, from chat for our blue? Chat. Chat, we need a blue. We need a blue. Help us out we here, chat. We need a blue. Come on, chat. Oh, royalties. What do we got? Royalties what? for purple. That's a great idea. Royalties. Dinero. <laughs> I think Dinero. Coin, coin is trying to cover all uh, different versions of that. Yeah. Um, I think blue maybe could be secure. I like secure. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Even if it's just secure blue. Like, all right. that, that at least designates which blue it is. Perfect. All right. Love it. There we <laughs> so, go. Someone's in crypto. Uh, all right, cool. So we're standardizing over there, and I, I want to hop over into Creative Cloud Express again um, and put that over there. Let's go ahead and create a social media image here, right? So I'm the client. I need to make an Instagram post, and uh, I want everyone to know that at the bank, uh, your money is safe, right? So I'm going to maybe type in vault. Oh, not templates, on photos. So I'm just clicking on photos, Ooh. and I'm going to type in vault. And these are integrated into Creative Cloud Express. Uh, and these are like very like vaulty pictures. Uh, let's see if we can get something that isn't as like gold. Uh, ooh, this is kind of interesting. Oh, there's some good stuff there, man. Yeah, so let's click this one. Uh, it's, it's stock. Uh, yeah, let's do, let's do this one. Sure, why not? Uh, so we're going to click here and we're just going to go ahead and add to background. And that is going to put it so that it is in the background of the photo uh, or, or the image. It just fills the whole space. So we have the image here and let's go ahead and add our filters so that it stays on brand. So we're going to go to filters and we are going to do these, uh, these colors. I am going to make sure I go to design and I'm going to click and switch into my Titan banking. Uh, right now I have Adobe Abroad set as my default, so it keeps going there. But we are going to go to uh, back clicking on this image and we're gonna click on our filters and then our colors will be right here. So we can actually do the shadows. Maybe mm. we want to be in this uh, like dark blue and then yeah. the highlights we want to be in this kind of uh, green, right? That we have in our logo. So these are our logo colors. You can see we're already looking like it's more on brand, right? Um, and let's say that we want to have some type that really like locks in. So I'm gonna go to text and just click on add your text. And we're going to type in your money is safe. Is safe. And if you wanna put it on great. different uh, levels, you can just use your return key and put it on a new line for each piece. So we're gonna stretch this out to make it pretty large and then align it to the center of our image. That's good. Um, mm -hmm. I do wanna change kind of the look and feel of the letters. So we're gonna come in here and change our spacing. So the line spacing we can pull out and you can see that it's making it a little bit wider, which is what we want. Um, and then the letter spacing we want to maybe go a little bit out and that looks pretty good to me as well. Yeah. Uh, I can use one of our brand colors here. So we could use this purple, probably not gonna look great. Blue, okay. Uh, that looks crazy. So let's just go with white. Let's actually, uh, let's yeah. do white, yeah. So let's just pull it all the way to white and we're gonna put it right here in the center. 
<clears throat> Dare I say I'd love some of these controls in Illustrator. <laughs> I know, right? I know, it's right? It's too, too streamlined. It's great. Yes, yes. And Trey, Trey has been watching watching all my streams. Yes, I did the, I did some of this and showed some of this yesterday um, on my branding stream. And so, yes, uh, we don't there, give it away. Trey. Don't give it away. Come there's on, a little man. there's a little overlap, but uh, I want to add a working shadow man here, here, right? <laughs> uh, there is a little shadow here, so I'm gonna click on shadow and then change oh, this yes. to one of our brand colors, right? So that uh, that nice little purple popping up in the background. We can have the distance of how much we want that shadow to go away, um, and that looks pretty good to me. And then let's go ahead and add in one of our logos by just coming in here and we can go to our library and then just drop in any of these assets. Um, ooh, and maybe it's this, maybe it's this piece here. Yeah. And again, I'm going to do It always gives hack. it that seal of approval. Like, I think that's very currency-ish, right? Yep. You know, love that. And it scales in right there looking pretty good. Uh, if we wanted Perfect. to, we could actually animate this text, uh, which why not? Let's do it. Let's click on animation here and you can go to text animations and we maybe want this to like fly in. So we're going to do dynamic and then we're going to have it. Oh, that's cool. Whoa. Your money yeah. is safe. Your money is safe. <laughs> uh, let's see this I one. Said, your money is there safe. There we go. This one flips <laughs> in well. Boom, 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 wow. boom. Your money is safe. Boom, 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 boom. That looks great. So from here, if I wanted to, I could export this and download it as an MP4 and just hit start download. And it is going to export this as an MP4 for me. So while that exports, Nick, do we want to keep working on Incredible. the brand standards? Yeah, let me get that slide going. So here's where we're at. We have created a bit here. I can go into much more detail once we kind of arrange a little bit more. But what I'm going to do here is for page two, so a lot of times, I'm sure you guys have seen this as well, where you're going to show them like do's and don'ts. And I, I think this is a great one because the last thing you want is anyone kind of like butchering your logo. And and this can happen very easily, particularly if someone gets a hold of this and they do one of these things. <laughs> That's like the worst thing you could possibly imagine, right? Yes. So what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to think of like the few things like, so no stretching the logo. So I'm going to do like two versions like this. Okay. So these, I'm just building the ones that we're going to put big X's through that I want to make sure that they do not do. The other thing I don't want them to do is maybe like swap colors, right? I'm going to take these, I'm going to ungroup it and I'm going to take these two colors here are blue and I'm going to turn them to that, uh, currency color. And then I'm gonna take the currency colors and turn them to that. There we go. Yep. I don't want that to happen as well. So you could do a lot of things. Then there's also, you do not want maybe the logo to be too small or something where they've like arranged the scale or the proportions a little bit off as well. So ungrouping that, let's say I never want it to have the logo really small like this. Okay. Even though that looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want that here. So one, I'm just building a nice library of things that these could be the don'ts, right? And what I have to do here is let's just bring over a header here and uh, we can say logo, uh, where is it? This is my and, favorite page to make in a brand standard, it's by far. Yeah, it's kind of great, all right? Logo and system can uh, cannot be manipulated manipulated in any way oh, i love love auto auto correct it's great right there we go in any way here are some examples Oops. of what not to do of what not to do perfect yep. and this is great people need to see this kind of stuff i think as well it keeps you protected so if some if someone does take the standards and print something and complains later, you could say, well, this was here. This was warning you of things not to do. Yes. So it's a very important component of yes. your brand standards. And so Nick, sure. can you yeah. surprise us and work on those and make some versions of what not to do okay. uh, and finish yeah. out that page? And I want to show somebody, uh, somebody you know mentioned it? it in chat. And yes, I am going to show you how to do this. Um, is you can actually convert that video that we just made into a GIF. So I have the video right here that we just made. Look at that, animated, gorgeous, it loops through and Wait. we got it. 
So we can simply come to the uh, homepage, express.adobe.com, and we are going to go to video right here on a quick action, and we are going to go to convert to GIF. So we're gonna click here, and then we are going to drop it into there, and let's go ahead and drop that in. So I have my piece right here. I'm gonna hit open and check this out. So we're gonna do a large file size, high quality, hit download, and it will think about it for maybe 10 seconds, and it is converting this video into a GIF. Um, the, the, the thing that I always like to sell is, this is really good for emails. If you are posting emails, if you're posting on Facebook, doing a Ooh, promotion, yeah. um, you if you are GIF. texting your friends, uh, make it a GIF so that you can embed it, and it will automatically loop and keep playing. So it adds visual interest in motion, right? So if I click and open this, check it out. It is now a GIF. Look at how smooth it is. And it just repeats and repeats and will play forever, right? So this is, I think, one of the best features of Creative Cloud Express is being able to convert video to GIF uh, because you can embed it in so many places. And it's yeah. so quick and so helpful to like just implement your brand very, uh, very quickly. And someone's and like asking said, about the, the loading weight on that. Let's see what the size of that file is. Go ahead, oh, yeah, Nick. Curious to see. I was going to say the best thing about that is when you are in the heat of the moment, loading up to different social medias, some it's better to be an MP4, some it's better to be the GIF, and you don't have to go outside of the app to change that. Yep. That's great. And I haven't named it. So I'm going to do a small, low quality file size. So right now, um, uh, at the highest go. quality, it is, hold please. And that's a short one, so it should uh, be it too is big. Huh? 10, 10 megabytes right now nice so 10 megabytes at the largest export size it is now processing it to a small size uh, and let's see what the quality looks like and what the size of the file is so it looks like the wow, size of the pretty, file that's pretty hefty for the big one i'm surprised it comes in at that high that's great yep so definitely smaller um this file is now with like 400k uh one one megabyte. One meg. Yep. Okay, perfect. So not too bad, uh, and it's doing a, a great job. Uh, can you share that in the library now? Obviously, the one that we share. What a great, what a great question from Nick Longo I here. I just came up with that. So, I have no idea. <laughs> so yes. So right now, so here's the library that we have. And in theory, yes, if I need to put this anywhere, I can grab this uh, GIF and just drop it into the library. I'm like 3% sure that this is gonna work, so let's just go ahead and drop it in here and see what happens. I mean, like, it did it not work. Um, it's spinning. So it's right there, so I mean, you can see that I literally just grabbed it from here, my downloads folder, and I drug it into Creative Cloud Express. Or sorry, into right. my library. So I grabbed it into my library, and let's see what happens if I try to place this in Creative Cloud Express. I don't know I what's just... gonna happen right now. I got the GIF in my window. That's pretty crazy. That's great. All right, cool. Okay, so let's see what happens if I try to do that out of a library and bring a GIF in. I don't think that it's going to support a GIF. It's, I mean, it's there. What happens if I click on this? What does it do? It's Does not it going to play it. Play? I don't think it, it just plays takes it. A, it just takes a still of it. I think it takes a still of the first frame. Okay, so it's got the still uh, of the first frame. Ah, there we go. There's no animation here. Okay, cool. Yeah, so it takes a still. So in theory, yes. That. Uh, yeah, not, not too crazy. Um, that, that worked really well, actually. That is really cool. I'm surprised. I, I'm, I'm so impressed with that idea that like, I know it's not the most video intensive application, but for cloud express to have that in there by turning animated things that you applied, like the text and then saving it as the MP4. Yep. What a great way to get motion into this, uh, to your social media stuff, particularly if it's not something you do, you know? Yep. And somebody is asking about, uh, Letterhead. Can you create letterhead in Creative Cloud Express? Boy, can you. So Nick, can you show your screen real quick of what you yeah. are working on and watch yeah. it? So just zoom out a little bit. <laughs> uh, zoom, go to the other page. Sorry, go to the other page. Yes. And then just zoom in on uh, that, just to that page. So look at this page that Nick is creating, right? He's got the letterhead at the top. So it looks really official. He's got that nice little bar right up there. Mm -hmm. So here's what we're going to do is like, wow, he did that on Illustrator. Well, sorry, Nick, we're going to do that in Creative Cloud Express right now. So I'm just going to make a letter eight and a half by 11 hit next. And from there, I am going to add a shape. Uh, I'm going to make sure that my design is set on my brand, right? And I just have a Great. default set. So if you are only creating one for your brand, it will be the only one in there. 
And we are go. going to go ahead and create maybe just a square here. And we are going to pull it up to the corner. And then we're going to use these nodes to make it a little bit thinner and a lot a bit wider. I feel so like I'm being replaced. Oh, you're being replaced. Get get out. I'm, uh, I'm literally Dwight against the computer on the right? office. <laughs> right? Titan baking. So we literally just went in here with our fill color. It was already in there in our library. We can come down into our library that Nick has shared with us. Um, let's see. We have Titan right here. Um, but oh, no. The Titan is blue. Aww, I taught you the hack. I taught you the what, hack. What are you, what are you gonna do? You Andrew? never have to think about it again. You only need to go into the duo tone and change both of those to white. And then you have a white version of the logo. I should have never shared that library with you. How dare you? Right? So this is actually, <laughs> and uh, this is a great way, if you are creative, this is a great way to help your clients, right? That it's not just setting them free to like, you don't need a designer anymore, go do whatever you want. Uh, it's kind of saying, hey, I've worked really hard on the brand setting things up assets. for you, right? The yeah. assets defining what font you use, uh, colors, creating those assets. Now you can use them in Creative Cloud. Um, and we were using Proxy Manova, right? Yes. Uh, and then what was what do you have written at the top of yours? Uh, at the very top, it says style guide and brand standards. All right, style guide and brand standards. So I'm going to change that into Proxima Nova, which you can see will be at the top here because that is our font. Uh, right. We're going to change the color to white. Yes. And then I'm just going to scale this down quite a bit and pull it out that this way. Perfect. There you go. Look at you go. Look at me go. <laughs> there we go. And there we have are. now made some letterhead. So, oh, let you want you want to do more, Nick? Nick, do you want more? Is that what you want, I, chat? I, do you want more? I do. I don't, but I think chat does. <laughs> yeah. So we can go to libraries right here, and then let's go ahead and do this uh, logo, which is just white. And you can see here again, we never need to make multiple colors of something. We can just use the duo tone. It is the greatest thing that exists here. So we're just going to use this really light gray, and I'm going to put that on both of these. And then I'm gonna take the opacity down to like maybe 10%. Mm -hmm. And then we could just watermark this kind of off the yeah. side, right? So this cool kind of water, wow, I, I matched the color on the outside perfectly. <laughs> wow. Okay, so. What were the chances? Right, we've created this really cool watermark that is just down here. Um, and you can see with our layers, we wanna go ahead and just drag this watermark all the way to the bottom so that anything that we add to this is going to put right on top. Now, if we're question. working- I got a question for you as yes. you go, you ready? Uh, so if you have a CC library and you share the library with someone who has a free Creative Cloud Express, will the libraries, uh, can the libraries be too large? Is there a limit? Ooh, I don't think, I don't think so. Um, and I, I'm guessing that if the library exists, I think that it will be accessible to anyone that you share it with. I gotcha. don't know the answer to that. That's a very specific question. I don't know what yeah. the answer is. I can do I some research and ask around into that for sure. um, and try to get mark. back to you uh, in two weeks because next week's yeah. a different, next is a little bit of a special episode. Yeah. Um, but I can replicate what Nick's doing right very easily by just clicking and adding in all of these logos that he had put on his. And yes. now I'm like, boom. Who needs, who needs yes. a brand standards when I can create that brand standards on my own, right? Or I can use this as a template and send to a client to say, hey, um, you need to use this for your um, for all of yes. your text, right? So we can yes. add text in here and say, hey, uh, if you need to add in some content, right? You're typing a letter, go ahead and type that letter in. We want it always to be at 12 point font. And then this is the area that I want you to type in is maybe that width and it will just continue going. And boom, then you can make a template for them. If we yeah. want to, we can share this template. We can go, oops, it's saving. Just a moment, we're saving your project. There we go. We can go to publish, we can go to invite, or we can make a template, or we can even send it to a Google Drive. We can export to a Google Drive. So if you wanna make a template, then you can send it to the client for them to work on as well. Um, and Nick, I just saw you turn on a perspective grid on your screen. What are you doing? Can you do perspective grid on Creative Crowd Express? Okay, I don't calm, think so. calm down, Nick. <laughs> calm down. Calm down. Nick's, Nick's, Nick's so excited. So 
if you are trying to make Nick's things threatened. easier <laughs> and yeah, easier and quicker, it is uh, great to equip your uh, equip your clients. And even if you are the small business owner, to play around with Creative Cloud Express, see what you can create. Um, it's going to be uh, something that is up and coming. There's always more stuff on the way. Um, and it's a great, great program that I have started using more in my process. Uh, yeah. cause it, 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 for me takes a lot off of my plate and allows my clients to work with their brand much more easily. I think I'm going to like even document this and show how, uh, this works with the client. Cause I think once you show that, that again, now is something you can add to your, your website or anywhere else of the value you can bring to a client that's maybe thinking about bringing on their services to you, right? But then they wanna know like, I don't wanna be billed for everything down the road. You can show them that once we set you up on Creative Cloud Express, you're good to go. Yep. You've got all of the tools and we'll walk you through it and do a little instructional video. That's that's kind of a great idea. I mean, yep. I am I knew this was coming. I think you showed it to me even before we were, we, we've we've covered it. And I'm, I've been blown away with how incredibly easy it is. And it actually has advanced stuff there, which you don't expect. Yep, you know? absolutely. And I want to show you all one more thing. If you want to learn more about Creative Cloud Express, guess what? There's an entire YouTube channel like dedicated to Creative Cloud Express. Yeah. Um, so you can go youtube.com slash Adobe Creative Cloud Express. Uh, click on that subscribe button and there are a ton of videos to help you do standing out on social media, making brochures, um, making stickers, menus, all that stuff. So if you're looking to learn more about Creative Cloud Express, um, you're, you're usually here on Adobe Live. There also is a great channel, uh, youtube.com slash Adobe Creative Cloud Express that has all of this extra content if you wanna go subscribe and watch some of that as well. That is awesome. I think uh, Steve made a comment there about um, you don't want clients to seem to get too much into this with the access because then they're going to wonder, hey, this stuff is really easy. But I, I really think there's still a fine line there because, but, again, uh, let them design a logo and then let, then come and talk to us, right? Yes, like, exactly. And, <laughs> and that's what you want. You want them to you want them to feel like it's easy. That's our job as creators is to make it feel like it's easy for the client. And to that's that's why I love Creative Cloud Express is it's like mm -hmm. you don't have to learn any of the programs. I am going to set you up for success because yeah. there's this new program that makes you so that you really can function in yeah. the way that you can understand how to function without having to get into Bezier points and all of this like crazy logistics. I have created a system that will allow you to drag and drop, click and play, yes. right? That it helps them take ownership of their brand. Um, and it's something that if you make the assets right and you define what your brand is well, they shouldn't get too far off, right? That they should be yeah. able to equip. And that's that's really the job, right? Is when I work on a job, I don't wanna hold on to it. I wanna give it to the client and tell them to run, right? And I, I'll monitor and make sure they don't run off a cliff, but Creative Cloud Express is the great example to say, hey, I want you to own your brand and really take it away from me. Like my part is done here, make it into your brand. And then you can kind of just monitor a little bit and be like, mm, don't do that. Okay, yeah, no, that's good. Let's good. Let's try that. Yeah. Yeah. Nick. That's it. wonderful. Love it. That was our episode about uh, branding and brands and Creative Cloud Express. We have probably my favorite thing that we do on the show. And when I say my favorite thing that we do on the show, we've only done it once before. Nick, what are we doing next week? It's a very, very special week for uh, Office Hours. I believe it is going to be a pre-recorded special event like never before. Like never before. <laughs> it is. It will be something very special and it will be called... <laughs> Uh, a premiere. We'll be having an Office Hours premiere. premiere. Uh, and it will, I know, right? Uh, it will be over on the Adobe Live YouTube channel. So we'll send a link in our Discord. Um, so make sure you join the Discord right here. But we will not be here live next week. We have recorded an amazing episode for you. It is so good. Maybe um, really our best. Yes. And, and the most but, unexpected episode ever. <laughs> so what we're doing is we're going to be talking about doing a creative brief. But Nick is going to be talking about... Uh, giving a brief to a client. And I'm mm -hmm. going to be talking about as a client, how do I give a brief to a creative? So we what? talk about both sides of how to work with how clients and then clients, how to work with creative. So if you are the non-creative working with creatives, I guide you through how to communicate to a creative and Nick does the opposite on the opposite side. So um, join us for that episode. It's going to be a premiere on the Adobe Live uh, YouTube channel and we will be live in Discord. So we'll be hanging out in the voice yes. channel, discord.gg slash ACC. 
Um, make sure that you hang out during the show next week. Um, I will be at Creative South uh, Conference over in Columbus, Georgia, but I'll be popping into Discord, hanging out with y'all and having some fun. So Nick, any any Can't parting wait. wisdom? It feels like we need some wisdom for April 1st. Any good Ooh, uh, wisdom any, to leave us with this week? Be careful with anything uh, uh, that comes your way. Uh, don't be a fool. <laughs> don't be a fool. Uh, we will see you next week. And that wasn't April Fool's. We are doing a pre-recorded next week. Uh, we will be doing a very special Office Hours premiere. So we'll see you next week right here, behance.net slash Adobe Live. Um, and uh, yeah, hop into Discord. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>